Hi everyone. Today I want to share something with you that I feel is going to revolutionize safety in the van life slash motorhome community. Now this is not a sponsored video, but first I want to introduce myself. My name is Kurt and this is Snow. I self-converted this automatic 4x4 van in 2018 to travel the world in our tiny home on wheels. We moved into this van and have been traveling full-time for four years. We spent seven months testing the van and exploring the beautiful USA while saying goodbye to our family and friends before we crossed the southern border into Mexico. We spent one year in Mexico before we continued south through the least traveled and yet most interesting places of Central America. We spent two months in Guatemala, one month in Nicaragua, three months in Costa Rica, and three months in Panama before shipping our van to Colombia, where we spent six months and toured some of the most breathtaking spots in the entire world. We then spent three months in Ecuador with some of the most amazing bird watching in the entire universe. Three months in Peru where we had our spare tire stole from right underneath the van, not far from Machu Picchu. Two months in Brazil where we saw the most amazing wildlife, including a jaguar. Six months in the amazing Argentina where Snow had heart surgery and we explored the vast, stunning Patagonia, where we turned north to explore two months of Chile on the Pacific coast and the southern tip of the incredible Andes Mountains. Chile is where just a short time ago we had our home violently attacked. We put out a video, and a lot of you have seen it, but here's a short clip for those of you who didn't. Alright guys, with no doubt about it, our scariest moment in the van. Um, the voice is shaking, it's taken us a minute to get the camera. Uh, oh, you alright Kurt? Yeah. Middle of the night, I don't even know what time it is. It's not that late. It's only 10 o'clock. I don't know if y'all can see it, but we just woke up to someone banging on the window. Our 3M security film worked, but our window is shattered. Uh, we need to duct tape this. We'll be back in a minute. Definitely our scariest moment in the van. Oh, they almost got in. Kitty cats escaped the daylight out of them. Oh, wow. That was scary. Alright. We gotta figure out what to do now. We, uh, clearly, first thing in the morning, have to find a place to get a a new window. As you can see, we were pretty terrified. We were woken from a deep sleep by banging, smashing of our window. Now, once the dust settled and we calmed our nerves, 
you can see we were pretty stoked that our security film that we had security uh, tent that we had put on the window held up the reason for this video is after releasing the last video we had so many questions and comments about the security film and first of all just so you know our security film is not 3m but anyway based on all the comments i believe this tent this security tent will truly revolutionize security for van lifers and people traveling or living in motor homes campers schoolies and the likes also it would make sense on your car your home and or your brick and mortar business to be honest i thought there was more awareness of this type of product as it's been around for quite a while but based on the comments I think there's a lot of people that just didn't know about it so I want to show you this clip right here of when I was researching of what I watched and I saw play out in real life you're about to see a demonstration of Lumar safety and security film this film is used for a variety of threats including bomb blast windstorm and as you'll see in the upcoming demonstration forced entry protection the film is designed to help delay entry in, in the case of a forced entry. So as you can see from the video and from our experience, that security tent will not totally stop an intruder from coming inside, but it could slow them down long enough for you to take evasive actions, turn on the lights, make some noise, get in your car, drive off, or deploy whatever defensive mechanisms you have at your disposal to drive the invader away. Secondly, if you're not in the van, then there is the opportunity that it could be enough of a deterrent where they'll give up and go on and try an easier target. In any event, I sure hope this helps all of you out there who are looking for a way to be safer. I think if you put it on your vehicle, you put it on your home, it will definitely make you safer and can definitely kind of give you a secure night's sleep. Thanks a lot for joining in. We'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys.